Yeah, so I'm, I'm on my way to um, Barbican, you know what I mean? Going to check out Barbican, see all my fellow barbers, see what's going on. Do a little networking, because, you know, in the barber game, you got to network, man. You can't be one of them barbers that want to be mad at a barber because, you know, he think he nice or you think you nicer. You got to learn how to learn from each other. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to see what's good over there. I tell you, be around the street when you don't know. Presidential rule like Obama. Did it and the general, me and the governor. And we full of tall room like Osama. We make a step on your ends, left no corner. Necessary, fresh color splash. Yeah, she smell me. What she tell me? Did they have the hottest thing ever seen me? Take pin them picture, I bury send me. The girl, them say, will fly your mind. G6 territory. Students, I see some students raise their hands. 
Y'all really students, you look like you're OG, you've been cutting the shop 10 years. Out to the CT Barber Expo April 17th to students. My man right there. Right there. My man right there. Listen, if you are a barber and you, and I'm not just saying it because it's my show, but you know, I do got a little spotlight right now. So the CT Barber Expo is now the world's largest one day barber event in the world. I'm trying to hit 6,000 people this year. We got 180 vendors. I need your support. You can go check out G the Barber Wheels over here. My brother for tickets, I got $10 off tickets today. Education and regular tickets. He's gonna be teaching a class there. So you can see him in like normal parochial school mode. Is it the world's largest in the world? Is that what you said? No, not really. It's the world's largest barber event. You know I'm a barber, I didn't finish school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's why I'm a barber, okay? But y'all get the point, man. April 17th. Follow Connecticut Barber Expo. Oh, we gotta go. We're gonna get you on stage, Jay. Jay. I know. Jay, what's happening? And if you've heard of anything happening in the industry as it relates to dopeness, as it relates to the connectivity, the construct of the industry changing, is because of this gentleman right here. How many of you have ever been to the CT Barber Battle? All right, that's it. Been there. Really? Been there. Right. Brian, I know, didn't even make no noise. I know a lot of it started for me at that CT Barber battle because anybody that's anybody that knows anybody mess with Jay Majors, right? I mess with him heavy. You see, I don't text him no more. But guess what? At the end of the day, right here, CT Barber battle. Get your tickets today. I'll be there, and I'm sure anybody that you hope to be there is gonna be there too. Go on. Right? So make sure to log on. And I just wanna get a quick, quick plug, real quick. I don't really talk much. I'm not really a talker. I just like to go by action, right? But I was one of the barbers that always thought that just standing behind the chair and cutting the clippers was going to do it for me. Until about th about three years ago, I connected with you know the people from Hanzo, and it changed my life because now I'm up here on stage with some talented artists. Where in my mind I was just negative about picking up shears. Not until about three years ago that I really started working my shear technique. And, and I watch myself grow, but the only way that we can grow as a community and as barbers, we got to respect the tools that we use, man. Like if you don't use good tools, you can't expect to get money from your clients that, that you're looking to get that money from. You know, you have to respect it. So I advise everybody. My favorite Hanzo shares are the, the HHH. I got the seven and a half, I got the six and a half, I got the 40 T. And I use the, uh, the six and a half too for when I'm working with shorter lengths. So I advise y'all to go that way and, and invest in y'all's future, man. Treat hey. these shears like your cars, man. Treat them like your future. Let's go. Hey, how much how much money in clippers do you think you have? In this and in the shop, in the shop, how much money in clippers you got? In this case right here, I probably got a thousand dollars. At least a thousand bucks in clippers. Who else? Like Come on, y'all. I said my side is the right side. Right. So what we go say kids as loud as possible I got one better for you what you got bro how about we live free and look good hey that works for me how about we live free and look good that looks good so on the count of three I want my side raise this joint live free and look good on three one two three <laughs> phenomenal barber he's just the artist man like you just give him something like origami my man bad to go welcome to your team bro this guy's amazing very talented also if you don't if you've never uh, seen his work which i'm sure you have make sure you check it out bad to go on instagram next barber Frank the Barber, come here, dog. Frank the Barber, come on, bro. 
Another talented barber. Definitely admire a lot. Appreciate you, bro. Jermaine Walker to the stage, please. Again, my name is Rob the Original. I'll need to my boy Dennis. Talk right here real quick. All right, how you guys doing? You doing all right? Yeah, we got any, any Detroit love in the house? Anybody? Hey, no Detroit hey, love. Oh, one person. Shout out to that one guy. Squire, I see you. Shameless plug. We're really excited about what's going on right now in the industry with barbering and hairstyling merging together and barbering growing at an exponential rate. Fabulous Pro feels like we're one of the companies that's on the forefront of being innovative and technologically advanced. Not only are these people right here going to be representing a wonderful brand, but they're also going to be working hand in hand with our engineers to help improve our tools in any way or shape that we can. And they're from all over the world, they're amazingly talented. And I was super excited to have him. So can we give one more round of applause for our newest members of Babels for Barber? And then I just wanted to recognize the people, a lot of the guys that did a lot of the groundwork. I'm gonna have you guys come up. These guys have been Yeah, so you know, I went to Barbacon. It was cool. Um, shouts out to Barbershop Connect for um putting on a good event, it was nice and organized, um, network with a lot of good barbers, great barbers, doing their thing in the industry, you know, sometimes, you know, when you be around other good barbers and sharing ideas, you realize, like, you know what I'm saying, where you could step your game up from, and, you know, what you could add to your style to make it better, you know, what you could do better to make more money. And you know, the barber game is is growing. It's it's at a very high level right now. You have a lot of role models in the game that you could look up to. That shows great worth ethic, and you know what I'm saying with with, with the work ethic that you put in, you you can get anything out of here, man. Like dreaming is free. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to dream big. You know what I mean? Like. I would I would never think that I would be living a decent life just off a of haircut alone. You know what I'm saying? Like where I'm from, like a barber is like, eh, oh you cut hair, oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? So now barber's like now barber's like, oh world, you cut hair and you got that and you got that too. So you know what I'm saying? Barbering is definitely paying off because you gotta you gotta understand that the beautician world kind of is colliding with the barbering game especially when you got a lot of highlights with the Odell Beckham type haircuts and those type of styles so it's, 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 it's vibrant man you know what I mean if you're a barber and you you think that the barber game ain't shit and you want to do something else i think you 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 should look up man it's a, you know what i mean look up these good old dudes that you know what i'm saying that that's out there doing their thing it's it's a, it's a lot and i just attended barber con as somewhat on a blogger type level because you know i went there almost didn't get in then you know good thing a lot of people know my face and you know, I was like, hey yo, it's Sneak, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So let me in and rub shoulders with a couple of my peers. So that's about it, man. It's been nice. Barbacon is over now. Back to reality, back to the haircuts, back to the grind. Well the grind never stops, so you know how that go. Peace.